Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episodes 3 and 4 of Queen Monogatari. Okay, so I think, what was it? When episode 1 and 2 came out on Monday, I believe I got another message saying that episodes 4, 8, and 11 and 12, I do remember someone saying 11 and 12 will be before, but then they also said 4 and 8 this week, um, are extremely important to the second season of Awani Monogatari. So I think what I'm going to do is once I, once I get up to 11 and 12, I'm going to rewatch and I'm going to save both episodes four and episode eight, rewatch those two before I watch 11 and 12, and then probably go ahead and watch four, eight and 11 and 12 again before I watch the first two episodes of a wedding when I got to the season two, because since I'm going to be, so, we're all going to be busy. We all in the house doing stuff and everything. I may forget something about episode four and episode eight so just to constantly really just remind myself but yeah just wanted to say that now so that i wouldn't have to worry about it later but other than that let's go ahead and get started with episode three and three two one go oh my God. <laughs> baby <laughs> oh it's my child even though i mean this had to be what like a day after her situation and everything Ugh. I mean, it's cold, but still, <laughs> it's not like, it's not present day Mayoi, it's past <laughs> Mayoi, and so she's still right here. I mean, I can be happy, but still, I mean, just seeing her opening after a long, long freaking time, and knowing that this is a past version of my child. Just still seeing her. I'm happy, but then sad at the same time because this girl deserves everything. <laughs> and she got a, in my opinion, a fucked up ending. Even though I feel like her story isn't 100% over because that could come in Owana Managatari season 2, maybe, or the final series of this show. Who knows? Please, <laughs> I beg you. Tell a story about sand. I can't. Mm-hmm. What about him? Do you need... Uh, okay, so he's already left at this point. So you don't need a store hit or a pay him or anything?
Oh, so you're going to deliver him this answer. Uh, I was thinking it was going to be the other way around. Come here, Cody. Cody. You gotta leave mommy alone. She doesn't feel good. I'll let you go in there after I'm done recording. Good job on you after this episode, okay? Mm -hmm. You know what it kind of looks like? I mean, the way it's shaped with the veins and everything. I mean, not the the trees. It looks like something's growing out of it. No, I, I think you kind of still want to get involved, no matter what. Watch tomorrow, it's going to look like something different. So you're telling me that this sand is going to make him remember something? Yeah, but you didn't dig in it, so there's got to be something there. What if it's just something from this past again? Because just honestly, this is just focusing more on him in a nutshell. What do you stop?
That's something. Hmm. You okay? Okay, here's the one thing I want to know about that because you know he completely digged that up the night before. So, okay, you're telling me. And he left it just exactly like that. So how in the world did that say I get by together because of the thing that's under there, underneath there, it looks like a demon, essentially? Okay, that kind of makes sense. But still, I'm just going to say this. All four, I must say 14, 13 episodes, really, we, we have this overall series, each arc going into it, focus on not only Agaragi, but the girl, whichever girl he's, um, the show is also focusing on. But this whole series, these 13 episodes, even though we're not done yet, to me, feels like it's focusing a lot more on Agaragi, that Agaragi finally gets to have an arc on his own, and the girls are still just featuring for, like, a moment just of something of a story to tell to him. And it's good because there are times where watching through this entire series even though we're not done with it yet i kept wondering if there were going to be like episodes where we got to see agaragi be in the front instead of being pushed like to the middle or possibly to the back where he gets maybe little to none character development while the girls get a lot more so the um the revolves have gotten switched and i do like that because agaragi is such an interesting character yes he's <laughs> <laughs> he's weird, he's Agaragi, he's different, he's not typically like, um, other characters that the voice actor has, <laughs> has portrayed. He kind of now reminds me of, um, a little bit of Yato, and, uh, I can't say the other character who he's playing, because I haven't watched the show yet, because it's coming out next month, but from what I've seen from trailers... I'm like, oh, that's definitely him as well. If he had a kid, <laughs> especially when he had when he's around, really Shinbu, Yayoi, uh, Mayoi, um, Oranoki, with the little kids, basically, because that's what he's doing. It's on it's on my list for uh, for spring animes. It's the very last show. It's actually the K. If you go watch that trailer right now, like literally, all I can see is fucking Agaragi and like any fucking kid. <laughs> from this damn series but i mean still just something that finally where he gets to be the main focus it's good because as much as i love these girls like these girls are really the most complex characters of this damn series and it makes me look when when you compare like maybe these characters to something like I don't know. Like, whatever, the first thing that fucking pops you in, in your head, like, I could maybe say, like, fucking Sailor Moon, because I don't know. I'm just thinking of Sailor Moon real quick off the bat. And you think about how some of these characters were at the beginning of their series, towards the middle of their series, and towards the end of the series. It's just, like, there's no comparison. Like, you feel like one is kind of better than the other, and how they were predominantly, you know, um, well-developed in, in this case, because... Oh, I can't even go on that topic on Sailor Moon because that's like the whole thing in itself because iffy on that and that's really just how um the people who did the production on that show just because it's more Sailor Moon Crystal than OG Sailor Moon but yeah I mean but just to have him be that main focus it's just good for me because honestly I, I've been wanting it I think ever since I think for a while now 
Honestly, really, because he he's a weird character. He's a weird. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's just he, Akaragi. Just Akaragi. He's just a really interesting male protagonist, and he makes me look at like the definition of male protagonist because you always think a male protagonist needs to be um, cool, interesting, badass. And never really going into the ones who are, like, the, I wouldn't say weakling, but scrawny, different from, who, like, the, the type of the, like, the, the ones that, like, goes into Agaragi's character development and everything are, like, stigmatized, are, um, no, the definition of them, they're, like, the best friend of the main character. And so to see someone who has, like, that best friend role be in the front and being on his own and everything, I just... Jesus, like, he just, he's funny. He's stupid at times. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about him, but I just have one thing I really want to ask, and you know it's going to be something about the cops and everything, because, I mean, come on, because I was thinking about this when I was watching the episode. He's in the park at maybe, like, in the middle of the goddamn night, and you know the cops are patrolling around and it's like that, and I don't think his parents are maybe there. You never freaking know, but... It, let's think about this in real life. You know if someone, a cop saw someone, you know, digging up sand in the park, they would ask them. You telling me that nobody in this freaking town, and I know someone's going to be like, well, you know, DJ, da, da, da. I mean, I know, I know, I know, but come on, let's just be really smart about this. No one is going to come up to him if his parents were patrolling as well, be like, hey, son, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't know, because, like, in a weird way, I feel like, because, of course, he doesn't tell his parents anything, and so I don't think his parents are really going to be like, well, our son's going out mysteriously at, like, 11, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the morning, so let's not question that. But still, I mean, there are some parents who don't really question that, and then there are some who do, you don't really know, but, <laughs> yeah. All right, go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode four. Okay, before we get started on episode four, we had a little problem about an hour and 30 minutes ago. I, um, I had episode four. I was all ready to watch episode four. And then I found out literally after the intro, there was no caption. So I had to download another one on, um, GoGo -Go Anime. So I will tell you now there is like a playback intro, um, counting down to it and stuff when you see it. So yeah, just want to tell you now, but other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode four in three, two, one, go. It is honestly so weird to go back to this when, like, an hour and 30 minutes ago I was on the previous episode. And because of the fact that there was no subtitles, going to watch something else and then coming back to this. It just feels so weird because it's like, hmm, this is what I was watching before. And then, like, hey, we got to put a pause on this. But uh, I should have checked this yesterday, but I didn't. I was like, no, because I'll watch it tomorrow and then. Things happen because you never truly really know what the hell could happen. One minute something has subtitles, and then the next minute there's no fucking subtitles. So now I gotta look going on to the next two episodes to see if the videos that someone has really sent to me has subtitles. Because if it doesn't, then I'm like, I'm fucked. Oh. 
I mean, honestly, I thought she would have been able to clean her room about now, but no. <laughs> uh, Yeah, he's fine. He, he just wants privacy. <laughs> uh, yes. There you go. Bad girl would do it way before comedy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The third.
but then okay, for you shouldn't you possibly sing Sandrahada or at least freaking Shinabu? Because they're both gonna be a part of your life no matter what. Mm-hmm. Well, Jesus, best girl. I mean, honestly, I wish I could be that flexible, but girl. She's honestly making me want to work out. And since we are, you know, not really on lockdown yet, but mm, it'd be good to work out. Excuse me. Oh my gosh, you're not even going to tell me. You know, let me say this. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know what comforter. I don't know how to feel. I don't know what to think. I, you know, and, and that's one of the many reasons why I love her as a character. She's just so out there. Like, oh my god, this girl. She just seems like the type of chick who, you know, she's really cool to hang out with. But she's just like that other type of chick. It's like, let me just say what's on my mind like this. And you're like don't know how to feel about her, but she's so funny as hell. Now it kind of makes you wonder how this episode 8, 11, and 12 are essentially going to play into the second season of Awari Monogatari. And such, and especially with the reflections. 
of seeing someone who could be your return, like future. It, it's just uh, until I see eight, I really can't say as much as like what I really think it's gonna be about. But it was an interesting story, very different. I mean, I'm glad that Sanjahada was like featured in this. Also, she really made me like dead ass want to work out, and I haven't worked out in a while. And since we are, like I said. We haven't been officially, and possibly maybe even as of right now, I haven't checked Twitter or really any other news about the virus and everything. And if, you know, USA is on lockdown, which it possibly is as of now, I'm not really 100% sure. Um, yeah, go ahead and go work out. Go make sure you eat right and chill and maybe get enough sleep and stuff like that. Let me just say that to you now. But it was a good episode. I mean, honestly, I'm just hoping that what these this episode 8 11 and 12 all play a really good part because like i said and like when i get to 11 and 12 i am gonna watch 8 and 4 again just to see and get a little reminder of it and then i'll watch 12 and then probably 11 and 12 and then maybe probably before i watch the first two i'll probably watch all four again i'm not really 100 percent sure but yeah who knows other than that guys that is my reaction view to it episodes three and four Okoyumi Maragatari. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes 5 and 6. One more thing I want to say before we go. I don't know why, but in this episode, like, we go to 3 and... Well, no, because he did, did... Yeah, well, yeah, he essentially helped the combat, you know with the damn books, but I was thinking it was going to be, like, something, not only cleaning, I was thinking it was just, like, something else, but still, because I was about to say, I mean, like, he ain't really help anybody in this episode. I was like, do we necessarily really count the book situation? So, yeah, you kind of really have to count that, but yeah. So, my guess now, I think... Hachiku, she should be... Yeah, she should be next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!